The first thing you need to know is, how will I get people to my waiver? Well, you can find the link to your waivers in two places. The email you received upon signing up will show you a direct link and QR code to your waiver. This information is also available on the direct link tab in your member console. To get to your member console, use the login to your account button on the main screen and enter your login credentials. In order to direct people to your waiver, there are a number of options. It is a good idea to have a computer set up at your business with the waiver link already pulled up and ready for customers to sign in. The QR code can also be displayed so that customers with smartphones can scan the code and be taken directly to your waiver. You can also put the link to your waiver on your website so that customers can fill them out before they arrive. Okay, so now that you understand how to get customers to the waiver, here's what happens when they arrive. You can see here the logo that we updated at the top and then your business type below that. Next, you will need to choose whether you are filling out a waiver for yourself if you are over 18 or for yourself and children. Just because the customer signs the waiver for themselves and their children does not mean that they themselves have to play. It just makes it so that the adult will not have to fill out a separate waiver for themselves. After this, there will be basic information about the participant that they will need to fill out. The difference between the adult waivers and the waivers for children is that on the Myself and Children option, there will be a place for the signee to choose how many children they would like to add to the waiver. If a child under the age of 18 tries to fill out a waiver for themselves, they will be prompted to have a parent or guardian fill out the driver's license information. So after all this basic information, you will see your waiver information, and then the customer will need to check to verify that they have read and agreed to the terms of the waiver. Then they will press submit and their waiver will be sent to your database. Information about the group option. You may have noticed at the top of the waiver there is a drop down menu for groups. In your member console, which is outlined in another video, there is a place to register the groups. Simply type in the group name, for example, Casio Insurance Agency, and then press submit. Once you have registered the group on your end, the customer will have the option to select a group when filling out the waiver. You should make sure you register the groups before they come in to fill out the waivers so that this option is already available and they won't need to fill out more than one waiver. Once they select this option, it would allow you on your end to quickly check in all the members belonging to this group at the same time. Players belonging to a group can of course also be checked in individually.